Nobody takes your news more seriously. It's the Idiot News Report, only on Hot 93.7. Now, here's your anchor, Kevin W. W. Reese. More than 200 naked shoppers flocked to a German supermarket in hopes of snagging some free groceries last week. The store offered to treat the first 100 shoppers to up to $276 worth of items if they came wearing only their birthday suits. Apparently the gimmick was a way to attract customers to the store's grand opening, and it worked better than the manager ever hoped. To keep the event under control, shoppers were ushered into the store in groups of 20, according to the paper. Moving to Virginia, police say a man broke into a hotel room just to order room service. Employees called the police after getting a room service request after 2 a.m. from the man. They nixed the order. When they realized he dialed from a room that wasn't booked for the night, cops came to the hotel and charged the man with unlawful entry and public intoxication. Moving to Chicago, in January, the city council signed off on updated regulations, including a $50 cleanup fee if somebody throws up in a cab. Apparently, cab drivers have been lobbying since 2009 to get this passed. Previously, cab drivers in Chicago and elsewhere were at the mercy of their often incoherent passengers, some of whom would compensate them for the trouble. Moving on. On the series premiere of America's Worst Tattoos, broadcasting on the TLC network, a man loved his parents so much that he decided to have portraits of them tattooed on his buttocks. He says, for Mother's Day, I decided to get my mom's face tattooed on my butt cheek, said John. My mom cried when she first saw it. Next, I got my dad's face tattooed on my ass. My dad, who is the king of not showing emotion, sent me a text message that said, you rock. In your celebrity news, Radar Online reports that Jonathan Jolie, a man claiming to be Angelina Jolie's cousin, has attempted to get a temporary restraining order against Brad Pitt, John Travolta, and the Church of Scientology. The man alleges that two actors beat him after the Pope sent him to Florida to prevent Pitt from becoming a Scientologist. According to a federal court document, he alleges that Pitt and Travolta beat him hogtied him and dumped him in the Gulf of Mexico where he was bitten by a fish. The man claims to live in the Vatican City and says he was sent directly by the Pope Benedict to spy on and prevent Pitt from joining the religion. Moving on, a man who made headlines for his 100-pound scrotum now says he turned down an offer for free surgery to get rid of his problem. It's reported that Wesley Warren Jr. declined an opportunity to have the Dr. Oz show pay for the medical expenses associated with the surgery. Warren says that he doesn't want to get the surgery because he doesn't want to lose the fame he's garnered because of his condition, which is caused by an excess of watery fluid collecting around his testicle. It's reported that Warren's scrotum prevents him from holding down a job and makes it difficult for him to urinate properly. But the surgery is complicated and it carries the risk, among others, that his penis and testicles could have to be completely removed if surgeons can't stop the bleeding. There is your idiot news report for June the 23rd, 2012. You can reach me on that Twitter at Kevin W. Reed. Kevin W. 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 Reese.